And you may die, perhaps even rot away before my very eyes, but that will not help you. I can wait as long as it takes, long after those insatiable worms have finished their repulsive feasting. In the end, I will discover that secret thou hast been concealing from me since the first dusty cobweb appeared under the eaves of this home, and since the first wrinkle marred thine already pale and bony forehead. But for now, behave yourself. Can you not see we have a guest at our table? Sit down, sit down. Welcome to this humble table. My name is Castula, for that was what my parents so desired. It is a great rarity these days for footsteps to echo through these lonely halls. And believe me, yours have not gone unnoticed. What dost thou seek here? Dost thou crave the same fate that befell so many unfortunates who ended up possessed by the very gold they sought to make their own? Yes, this manor is awash with mysteries, secrets, and curses. If only I could find the hiding place of my brother Trifon's manuscript, perchance I might have at least one less mystery to solve. How deluded you are. Did you think you could keep it from me any longer? Do not listen to this brother of mine, dear visitor. Do not believe his untruths. If we had my brother's manuscript, we would know each and every last one of his secrets. Oh, sister, stern, terrible Castula, seekest not to deceive me with your detached expression, that serene indifference that becomes thee so well. I know you hear my words, even though the look you return to me arises from the depths of the shadows themselves. Welcome, visitor, to this table of reproach and intrigue. My name is Trifon. For that was what my parents so desired. Pay us no attention to my sister's words, nor her silences, but just by looking at her withered face one can sense her malicious smile. No, I am no longer interested in your confabulations. Thine understanding has long been governed by a dastardly imagination. I remember when you had that old blue-green headscarf. <laughs> It was so soft, you kept saying that it transported you back to other times, to distant memories. If you held it now in thine hands, perchance you might cease with the constant accusations. You would never have lost it if, just for once, you had stopped rummaging through my affairs.
Yes, this is my sister. Castella now seems immersed in her memories. Where have you gone, Castella? In which dream from which you do not wish to wake have you taken refuge? The dark sockets of your skull no longer return my gaze. What memories, what old dreams have taken you from us? The dark sockets of your skull no longer return my gaze. What memories, what old dreams have Pray, how can I assist thee, penitent one? Allow me to present you with a new piece for your silver altarpiece. How can I assist thee, penitent one? Allow me to present you with a new piece for your silver altarpiece. <laughs> 